Nissan says the new 2009 GTR is one of the quickest production cars in the world. Now Edmunds Inside Line has the numbers to prove it. We went to Japan where the car is already on sale and found an owner willing to let us run his car against the clock. He showed up at the AMI airstrip outside Tokyo with his GTR and we showed up with our test equipment for the world's first test of Nissan's twin turbocharged supercar. Here are the results. Nissan claims the GTR can go from 0 to 60 in just 3.5 seconds. It can. In fact, we managed a 3.3 second run to 60 using the GTR's launch control system. That makes the GTR the quickest production car we've ever tested. Faster than the Porsche 911 Turbo, faster than the Dodge Viper, and faster than the Corvette Z06. To activate the GTR's launch control, the transmission and damping switches must both be set to the R mode, and the VDC must be switched off completely by holding the VDC R button down for several seconds. Then it's just a matter of pinning the brake with your left foot and wooding the throttle with your right. Get it right, and the computer holds the engine at 4500 RPM and waits for you to lift your left foot off the brake pedal. When you do, the GTR produces the most crushing acceleration of virtually any production car in the world. With this technique, we beat Nissan's quarter mile time too, as the GTR crossed the line in 11.6 seconds at 121 miles per hour. That ties the Porsche 911 Turbo for the quickest quarter mile time on our books and leaves the Corvette and the Viper in the dust. Hard launches generated heavy rear wheel spin on the slick airstrip. It was hard on the car, so we only attempted this type of launch twice. We've got a feeling we could shave another tenth or two with a better surface and a car we weren't so worried about braking. Speaking of braking, the GTR stopped from 60 miles per hour in just 104 feet. That's only one foot longer than the last 911 Turbo we tested, and that car had the optional ceramic composite brake rotors. In the slalom, despite a less than ideal surface, the GTR ripped through the cones at 72.9 miles per hour. That's faster than both the Corvette Z06 and the 911 Turbo. Only the 2008 Dodge Viper has produced a faster speed through the cones. Even more impressive is how easy the GTR handles at the limit. It's not twitchy or hard to predict. It goes where you expect and stays there. Bottom line, Nissan has done it. Just as promised, the $70,000 GTR can outrun cars that cost four times as much. Just remember to activate the launch control.